So what's the first step for this question here? Question 15, what's the first step? Multiply it out, yeah? Now there's a problem with multiplying it out. This one here is two squared, isn't it? Yeah. So it's technically x minus t, x minus t, and x plus w. I'm going to take the first two and multiply them by each other. And you're going to get this here. Everybody happy enough with that? Mm -hmm. I'm sure you can do it if you just, just spend the time multiplying them. Now, how many objects am I going to have on this side? Six. Huh? Six. Six. Everybody right with that so far? Yeah. Six. Uh, X cubed next. It's a W, isn't it? Uh, X squared W. 2TWX. I always put the X's at the end. Apart from that one, where it's an X squared. 2TX squared. Oh, it is. Uh, I, I skipped to the next one, you're right. Uh, plus, uh, minus 2t, x squared, and then minus 2tw, x after that. Plus 2 squared x, t squared x. t squared x, yeah. t squared w. t squared w. Uh, just to be consistent, I'm going to change that to wx squared. Is that right? Everybody agrees that six of them there, yeah? And what does that equal? X plus 2 bx Yeah, now here's the interesting part, all right? Uh, x cubed, yeah? Do you see any x squareds there on the right hand side? So what law would it be equal to? T squared. Zero. Zero x squared, yeah? If I put in zero x squared, does that change anything? Still means zero, doesn't it? So let's find myself a little bit more space here. There we go. And then after that, three uh, px and t squared. What what comes next? Highlighter, yeah. So that one, that one, equal that one there. That's your first equation. So it's uh, it's going to be uh, W minus 2T equals zero. zero. Then you go again to the next one. Uh, this one. Oh, crap. I don't want that. This one. This one. And that one there. So what's my equation for the second one? 2T minus... 2TW equals 3P. What? 3P. Equals? 3P. 3P. Okay. And the last one is, uh, sorry, I'm running now, highlighters. This, this blue part here and this one here, yeah? T squared W equals minus T squared. Everybody see the three equations we're dealing with? Which one's the easiest looking one? Yeah. Why don't we? What number is in front of the t squared? Minus one. Minus one. And that's technically w t squared, isn't it? Yeah. So what's w? Minus one. W is minus one. And then bit by bit, now you can go up here. And anywhere you see w, what can you do? Minus one. Bring the two t over the other side. 2t will equal minus 1 and then t is equal to minus a half, yeah? Ne next year on this now, what's 2 times minus a half? Minus 1. This 2t turns into minus 1. 2t is still, uh, it's going to be uh, 3 plus 1. But I'll just, I'll just put them in, I won't, I won't do them out, yeah? Minus 1. Give me a sec, guys. We'll, we'll, we'll go safe on this. I think I'm being a bit too complicated. I'm replacing uh, I'm replacing t with minus a half. Does that? Uh, I'm replacing t with minus a half. Does that make sense? Yeah. Anywhere I see a t, it's now replaced with minus a half. Anywhere I see a w, it's replaced with minus one. Do you see all that gibberish in there? Am I going to do that in my head? 
Absolutely not. Much lazier than that. So 2 by the way minus 1 over 2. Go again. Bracket minus 2. Bracket. This is actually a decent bit of a uh, calculation to be honest. Uh, minus 1. Minus 2. So minus 2 equals 3p and p equals minus 2 over 3. Yeah, that's, that was a tough question guys. That was a